We're just down here in block five today. It's the end of the avocado removal. So we've just finished cutting down all the trees and the stumps. So at the moment, we're just pushing them all into a heap. We'll just make one heap on each row for a start. Then I'll just go along and make the 12 heaps into four where I can, so we can set ourselves up for a nice burn off. Been a good ride with the avos. We, we got ourselves set up where we picked over 200 bins last year, but unfortunately, the way things are going, with a little bit with the market as well as we're really trying to get away from using any sort of sprays where we can on the farm. So the avos use a few sprays. If, if you can't spray the trees to keep the phytophthora under control, you have a big problem with tree health. So we decided to go away from that a bit. We'll just reforestate the place and the place will still look beautiful. There'll still be plenty of trees, but they just won't be avocado trees. And a bit of a water shortage coming up, I think, this summer, the way the winter's panning out, unless we get some amazing amount of rain over the next two or three months. But now that the land's all cleared, we can get ourselves ready and plant all that with these native trees we've got coming from Point Up Botanical and also the ones we've got in our own nursery. It's been a pity really to knock down nice healthy trees, but the way we want to run the farm from now on is probably not part of that equation. So move them out of the way and we'll go on to bigger and better things.